the question is that uh, the current price barrier, I think, is one of the driving force for attracting people. Okay, so hello everyone. So hope you're doing well. So welcome to DeFi Professor Joe AMA event. My name is Kay, AKA Professor Joe, the from Undefined Labs. I will host for today. And um, before um, we are the getting the started to kick off, uh, let to some introduction, the panel, answering your questions. So um, the first got the Balami, the from my team, the, who will interview our guests. Before um, joining the Bellamy, let me introduce the background that he has worked for the banking industry the for over eight years. Now he has started for Crypto World the, since 2021. So hello, Bellamy. Thank you for joining the events. So how are you doing today? Very good, Kate. Thank you for having me. Uh, pleasure to be here with you and Jan. Okay, so next up, of course, we have Jan, co-founder of Stefan. Stefan is the first move to own project around the world, um, and it has been a huge success this day. Even in Korean major news, the Sp Stefan was introduced as an innovative service. So, Yeon, the glad to have you today. Thank you, thank you. Glad to be here. Okay, so just before we get started, I do have a, the housekeeping note for anyone on the YouTube. And for anyone listening on the Telegram, feel free to drop question in my Telegram chat and let us know. To ask any question during the today's session, the police chat in the Telegram or the YouTube, we will ask Jan to answer all the questions. So let's just start AMA. Awesome. Let's go. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kay. Uh, Jan, uh, first of all, before going into the AMA, I think we need to congratulate you. You are all over the, the news everywhere. You are the super rookie, rookie of this season of uh, the crypto world. Uh, you. Could you give a little bit of background for uh, people in, in our chat to just explain what is Stepan and uh, what is you want to achieve with Stepan? Okay, so Stepan is firstly we started as a GameFi project and now we gradually turn it into a Web3 uh, lifestyle app that uh, we do have a GameFi element, but we in the future will also have a, a social element and in between we'll have uh, the app to be built as a, um, a platform where we will do NFT platform or airdrop platforms. So it is a constant evolving project. Uh, I think we want to bring uh, a more of a healthy lifestyle to people and also to contribute positively to the carbon offsetting and the carbon neutralities. So that's the end goal and also encourage people to um, to communicate. Uh, Cameron is on the web too, you know, on the Discord, but in the future on the web three as well. Thank you very much. That's a very clear answer. Um, you've achieved a very uh, impressive and symbolic uh, milestone of 200,000 daily users. And I think uh, it's even more than that right now because it's increasing every second. Uh, you have a trading volume right now on Binance of, of around 400 million US dollars, maybe more. What do you think was the key factors and what drove this uh, exponential growth of uh, Stepan? Um, I think we start off by uh, very humble. Uh, I think uh, I think we always want to start with very low, um, uh, not attitude, but uh, position, really. So uh, the whole app start off as a you know a beer chat with me and Jerry, you know, uh, in the afternoon, uh, because uh, you know uh, where we're coming from is that uh, I think we were sort of okay, let's go retire, and uh, you know we sort of made enough, not a lot of money, but enough money for us to just carry on. And then we just feel like that we want to do something that to make an impact. So then we start this project. And I think with that initiative, we wanted to just do something great. So that's the reason say, okay, we, we didn't start off with any of the NFT sales. We said, right, let's give away. And uh, we try and just constantly to give away back to the community. 
And uh, I think up to the point where people think, okay, this is actually a very great idea or a good project and people starting to uh, come in. So it took us really like uh, four months of uh, accumulation and trust building and uh, uh, community building uh, to have a solid foundation. Because as we see, um, the user base is only a mere of uh, around 10,000 to uh, 13,000, uh, sorry, 30,000, roughly um, February. And we did about tenfold of growth uh, just in March. So I think because we have built a solid foundation where people can come in, and it's functional product and the field community is actually very vibrant and also uh, helpful and people stay. Uh, and, and also we work really hard at the background to uh, facilitate. Uh, so I think the, I think the reason is that we, we, we come with a very sincere and sort of a low position um, to provide value to our uh, community members. And uh, we have a core uh, seed users. And, and this user will then help this newcomer to um, understand how the app works uh, in the Discord. So I think it's a success for both the team and also the community as a whole uh, to, 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 to grow the, you know, the project together. And for that reason, we are very uh, appreciative to our communities. And we do you know, projects, uh, giveaways and uh, airdrops. You know, we did a 45 million token airdrop uh, in uh, February. Uh, you know, when the token price is still pretty low, but now it's really, it's about like, uh, what, uh, $90 million giveaway. So it's pretty sizable now. So I will do that in the future as well. So, I mean, you know, giving back to the community and have community to help us to grow is always, I think, um, the, the main driving force for us uh, to scale. Uh, so by the way, um, so at the beginning of the Stefan, so are you um, the dropping uh, the shoes? box to the users to mm -hmm. make the growth or just to sell sell the nft to the audience well, i mean the users yeah so i think i think we did that for particular the reason that uh um i don't have a game producing or developing experience but jerry did so according to him uh no game will get the beginning you know all the data and modeling right so never that happens so it's constantly you have to evolve and uh, you know almost tweak your data and uh, many many times until you get it right. So you know when we have this talk, we think okay, we cannot sell our NFTs um, because uh, it doesn't it just doesn't work because once the you know if you sell let's say uh, just a thousand of them in the beginning, if you have all the data wrong you will create a lot of uh, sale pressures and you will have to provide the liquidity and then there's a whole bunch of issues gonna happen. So we say, all right, that, how about just give away, right? It's easier, you know, people have very low expectation. Even your app is full of bugs. People say, all right, you know, I get, I get this NFT for free, right? I have really low expectations. What, what else can go wrong, right? So uh, I think that's the initial sort of, uh, uh, sort of light weighted uh, start, uh, we didn't, come with any burden. We only have like, a, we have 25 users in the first day and then something like a 35 or 50 uh, in the following few days. So we have a really small user, user base that enable us to fix a lot of bugs and um, get the model right uh, in the beginning. Thank you very much. Uh, you said something interesting in your answer is that it's uh, important that to give back to the community is one important aspect of Stepen. So uh, we might have some new users here listening to our AMA. What would be uh, the best way for a new user right today to get involved with the community and uh, get involved with Stepen? Um, I think the, you know, the sinker is like an entry ticket. So uh, the, the new user has to have one pair of sneakers. Although people were saying that is now it's getting a little bit expensive. Um, uh, but I think that uh, in this Web3 world that people pay thousands of dollars for the NFTs, you know, uh, avatars or PFPs, uh, the sneaker price is still within that reasonable price range. So once people have that sneaker, they sort of get a ticket uh, to be part of the community. And then it will take them like really long time. I think roughly at the beginning, you earn about 10 to 20 tokens. So that's going to take you uh, around 
20 days or 30 days will be able to convert your earnings into Solana and then you buy a second pair of sneakers. And then you're gonna take another you know weeks uh, for you to breed a sneaker. So I have three pairs. So our objective uh, I think is to get people a, um, a habit of uh, going out for exercise. So to uh, cultivate this habit, you're gonna need a, 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 a sort of a long time to do it. So we purposely to design the game really, really slow in the beginning. But once you pick up the pace and then you sort of going out and you have the third or fourth, fifth pair fairly uh, quickly. Um, and, and once you have that habit, uh, you are going to the next stage of the app where you say, okay, I probably want to do some, uh, uh, you know, a gym upgrade, uh, a sneaker upgrade, uh, getting another pair of sneakers, sell the old sneaker, buy a new one, you know, higher quality one. So, so on and so forth. Then sort of the journey of the game start. But to have that first kickstart, uh, you're going to have just one pair of sneakers and gradually work your way uh, very slowly in the beginning and then quickly in the, in the, in the later stage. Thank you very much. Uh, so you've addressed a very important point that I also see on the chat right now. Uh, some people are raising is that some people feel like the price of the NFT might be an entry barrier into Stepan that the original users didn't have. So uh, the new users are suffering from a, a, a kind of entry barrier uh, that didn't exist before. Uh, I know that uh, the rental system will kind of address this point, but could you uh, a little bit elaborate on this kind, uh, how Stepan sees this entry barrier and uh, if uh, you are doing anything about it or you have any plans to, uh, to, to address it? Okay, so it is actually quite uh, interesting that uh, the GST price start off with 10 cents and the sneaker price start off with 0.9 Solana. So you can see that uh, the sneaker price and then the GST price is go hand in hand. So you cannot expect people making $5, you know, worth per GST at a low uh, uh, sneaker prices. All right, these two going hand in hand. So uh, 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 at the current stage that uh, the price is decided by the market where its demand is pretty high at the moment. So you're expecting a high uh, token prices and high sneaker prices. So it is all come down to expectation management and also what people say, you know, return on their investment of the investment of say high price sneakers. You will make the money back equally the same time where you have a low price sneakers. It doesn't make much of a difference, right? So uh, the return on, you know, uh, on your investment doesn't make any difference. It's still like 20 or 40 days. Uh, but I think one of the reasons that we did quite well is because of high price and price barriers. And again, you know, for people that are serious enough uh, about the app, their first step, at least just buy a pair of sneakers. I don't believe that people are, you know, in this industry uh, wouldn't be able to afford a pair of sneakers. Although the price is a bit high, uh, I, I, I still believe that people with reasonable, uh, investment uh, or like a living standard will be able to afford it. So it actually stopped people that uh, are purely in this app just to make money. Is that I, I don't want to have to take any risk and uh, I just want to uh, make, let's say $50 a day by, you know, running and working. And then those people are, they, these people will sell your token once they get into the app. And for people that can afford to spend $900 per pair of sneakers, maybe about 10 of them, you know, $10,000 of investment, they can afford of not cashing out that money. They actually are the people enjoying uh, the game element uh, and uh, treat this almost like a gym membership. And, uh, and, and, and it becomes sort of a positive feedback loops because uh, people are actually uh, consuming tokens and spending tokens, buying tokens for minting for other things, and then driving the price up. And it become a self-reinforcing uh, cycle that uh, the higher the token prices and then the higher the sneaker because you need a token to mean the sneakers. And then the higher the entry barriers. And then the higher the entry barriers, you will have less people uh, in this app purely to chase the financial gains and to make the game now almost, uh, we, we have to now try to curb the deflationary issues of the GSC because there's not enough tokens there. So by, you know, providing more tokens uh, for user, uh, double earning, uh, we're gonna do the triple earning this month. So uh, 
again, you know, going back to the question is that uh, the current price barrier, I think, is one of the driving force for attracting people. Because when people say, you know, the high-end people, you know, make the full 300 tokens per, per day, they are $1,500 per day. And, and that becomes sort of very, that can trigger topics. You know, people say, oh, I make $500 a day by working. And people say, what? You know, it's ridiculous. And, and then if you say, okay, I made 50 cents by working today, that's, you don't have that kind of impact and uh, people will take no interest in any of the working app that can earn 50 cents a day. So I think, you know, the high price is sort of the reason that uh, we have a very good uh, feedback by the users and also um, uh, are actually speculated by some of the people on the market. Yeah, um, thank you for um, your answers. Um, the for me, um, the high price of the shoes um, make the guild the get involved in the the Stefan ecosystem because um, the basically the, the guild the the business is um, the for renting the NFT uh, to the user uh, who has not had the affordable uh, to the buy the NFT. So I think. Uh, if if the Stefan has a lower the price of the juice box, I, I don't I don't think it works with the, the with the guild. So I think um, so. I just wondering um, if you have any um, the plan for the collaboration the, with the guild in the future. Okay, so we actually mentioned this several times that uh, we will have a series of the anti cheating and anti guild mechanic installed because. Uh, what we're looking at the guild is the guild will, the guild actually, I think, evolved from X Infinity, where the guild provide the seed user for the, uh, the game fight. And uh, in return, uh, the guild will then make money out of the game fight. And then uh, by making returns, financial returns, the game fight will, will attract uh, people outside the guild uh, ecosystem. And uh, the guild will basically somehow balance the game uh, ecosystem because one, for the guild to grow, you have to actually accumulate a lot of resources in the beginning. And once the guild grow to a certain size that you feel comfortable to cash out, uh, the process that it takes for it to grow will also attract the non-guild players and users to participate in the ecosystem. And then the guild are starting to sell the tokens, sell the tokens. Um, and, and then for more people, if more people coming in, the guild will offload its token. And once the growth slow, and then you can you can start to see that the guild was starting to dump the token back to the market. And once the guild believe that uh, um, this game has run to the end of its life cycle, it will dump all the asset and then move on. So you can see when guild are participated in any of the game fest ecosystem it will be a symbiosis situation in the beginning or even the guild will help the game uh, to grow its for seed users in the beginning but gradually you will see the skill starting to siphon the life out of that game uh, until the game died so this is a very interesting um, relationship Right, almost like a toxic relationship, like a marriage. And uh, but the issue is a guild will be able to move from game to game. And uh, you know, one game die with the next one and move on, so on and so forth. So we will have a a a a, a series of uh, the anti china anti guild mechanic because we don't want to end up like that. We want to have a genuine user um to play and a genuine uh market. Right, based on the real supply and demand. And nobody should take any advantage of others and nobody should exploit it, um, the system. And this will ha it has to be done, not by artificially picking who is a guild and then punish them because that never will eliminate the existence of guild because people will form different guild, right? They will be running guild. People will follow the rules and uh, then they will hire people to run for you and then they will collect the tokens and pay a portion of them to you know the runners. But they are actually mechanics we designed, which will implement in the future that uh, uh, will uh, gradually to uh, curb the guilt issue. Um, you know, uh, Jerry always hate me to uh, leak any 
alpha, so I cannot say exactly what we're going to do. But uh, this is something that we actually are designing uh, and contemplating a lot at the background of how do we make the app last much longer. It's by building a genuine, real user, real consumer-based ecosystem that the user will exchange values peer to peer. They will be not involved with any robot, and they will be not involved of any good. It will be just people. Thank you very much. That's uh, very clear. Uh, I see that you are being uh, careful of not leaking too much information. That's <laughs> yes, not yes. Yeah, that's not. I'll, 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 let, I'll, I'll let people know once uh, we are ready. Yes. Yeah, sure. No, that, that's not that's not an issue at all. Um, so let's circle back and talk about your project now. Uh, expand the, 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 the functions of, uh, of, of Stepan, maybe not to other kind of uh, physical activities that would allow also to, to earn uh, GSTU, GMT, uh, depending on the level. 